Good morning and welcome back. So it occurred to me recently that I haven't done a video like this since I quit my job working as a lawyer in Hong Kong and my life looks pretty different now. I thought it was about time that I do an updated what I spend in a day and in case you're wondering what this is, this is my coffee. Obviously not the whole thing. Usually we like to make porgers at home but we've both been on kind of a cold brew kick lately so I'm gonna get this strained first. We like to buy whole beans from a local roaster, which we've been buying from for years. And we also grind our beans ourselves, which is also something we've been doing for years. I calculate the approximate cost of each serving of cold brew, and assuming that each serving is about 25 grams of coffee, that comes out to about 960 per serving. While it definitely still is my preference to make coffee at home, it is an area that I'm less fussy about now than before because one, honestly, it is actually very enjoyable to have someone else make your coffee and to also have it out in different places. And two, I've come to realize that making coffee at home versus having it out is a relatively low impact spending habit as compared to other areas of my spending before, such as dining out. As for breakfast, I still practice intermittent fasting, so no food for me yet. And I've actually got a pretty packed day ahead, so let's get started. Okay, so now it's time to go shopping. Just kidding. As you just saw, I just spent $9,000, which is like about 1100 US. And clearly this is not a daily expense. It's actually the annual fee for renewing my practice certificate, which is like my license to practice as a lawyer. For those of you who are new here, I used to work as a litigation lawyer in private practice for over six years before leaving. And now I do a mix of content creation, as you're seeing now, and managing practice development for barristers, which is essentially like a business development role. I don't technically need my practice certificate for any of the work that I do now, but it is my personal preference to keep it just in case and to be safe, so just have to deal with this annual fee every year. I thought about leaving it out and not including it in this video, but I did technically spend that $9,000 today, so I think I'll probably set that aside in the grand total just so the number doesn't look so crazy. So I'm back home for lunch because we have food at home, and when we do, it's generally always my preference to have lunch at home unless I have plans out. I'm gonna make lunch now before I get back to work. How much do you think I spend in a day? Money? Yeah. Oh my god, I don't know. <laughs> Just give me a number. <laughs> in a day? Yes, in a day. $2,000. Okay, that's like the fastest answer I've gotten so far. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I... I only know so much. Yeah, it's just, it's I've just never seen you spend. <laughs> okay, so I got changed since I didn't want to have dinner in my sweaty gi, and we're gonna head out to dinner now at a place that we really like in the neighborhood. Hell yeah. I want the tandoori lamb chop. It's basically like the main stress, right? Yeah. Fuck, so good.
Okay, so now for the grand total, but before I get to that... Lloyd? I realize I didn't ask you yet what you think I spend in a day. Exclusive of the monthly stuff. Okay, so you're not amortizing rent and other things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, come. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, I guess you can guess with that, too. Oh, it's actually so hard. <laughs> it's so hard. I live with you, and I know what you do every day, but I don't have any idea. So I want to say, without including monthly expenses, I would put it at, let's call it $420. <laughs> oh, but okay, we went out to eat, and I know I'm debating you. We went out to eat, and I went to BJJ, so that's... That's true, that'll be more. Yeah, yeah. that'll be quite a bit more. Ah, uh, if you take into account those expenses. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Let me think. I, I These are concrete numbers that I actually know. Yeah, yeah. Um, but see, I don't know, because if you go to, let's say you go to eight classes per month, right, then the per day spend of those classes would be lower. Like I said, don't ask a lawyer. <laughs> no, because I think it would, like, some days will be much lower, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that, yeah, I think of it's, course, like it's an average measure. Not, not every day is the same. So but I would like say... For that, for that specific day. Okay. We're not doing an average. On that particular day, maybe 690. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so the grand total for the day is $9,662.60. But to give you a more accurate picture, I'm going to take out that $9,000 bomb since that's an annual fee. And if you divide that by 365 days, that comes out to $24.65 a day. So if I add that back in, the grand total for the day actually comes out to $687.25, or about $88 US dollars. Like I said earlier, this doesn't include recurring monthly expenses like bills or rent, but for those of you who are interested, I'm actually going to cover that later. Sorry? You're actually only like $3 off. I was by $3? <laughs> yeah, you're off by $3. <laughs> you're 687 Oh my god. <laughs> like we were just talking about, not every day or week for that matter looks the same, but I do have a few comments on my spending and what has changed or not changed. First off, for the day I was filming, I did do more running around than usual. Although I do have to say that I do do that more on average now than before when I was working as a lawyer in private practice because the scope of my work now involves attending talks and events. We still make coffee at home and we still meal prep. Although I have to say that because my work schedule is more flexible now, even if we don't have meal prep at home, I am more likely, or Lloyd is more likely, to just whip something up quick to eat at home instead of ordering delivery, which is sort of what we defaulted to before. I don't attend my BJJ class every day, that's twice a week max, but because I work out most days, if I'm not attending BJJ, I am going to the gym, which I'll get to in my monthly expenses. I also definitely don't eat out every day, but I do go out to eat maybe two to three times a week on average, generally for something social, so for variety's sake, I decide to show that in this video. And now for monthly expenses. So I'm not going to go through these in a ton of detail because I already covered these in a previous video back when I was still working as a lawyer. I think I'll just mostly go through the things that have changed or not changed as well. My rent and utilities haven't changed much at all actually because I'm still living in the same apartment as before. Although my rent actually is a little bit cheaper now because when we last renewed our lease, we negotiated a small Goodwill pandemic discount. My phone bill is cheaper now because as a lot of you pointed out after I did my last video on my spending, I was overpaying and I've actually entirely changed providers and I now pay $309 a month instead. What else has changed? Oh, I pay for my own health insurance now. That's something I pay annually, but I'll put the monthly sum up onto the screen just for reference. And for those of you who are curious, I have a worldwide major medical plan, but my coverage includes the US, which makes it a bit more expensive. I still have my gym membership, which is something that I don't think I will get rid of, even though I did deliberate about it for a while, but I still go at least three to four times a week, and I don't think I'll ever get rid of it, to be honest, as someone who very much prioritizes physical fitness. And finally, we have subscriptions, which I'll throw up onto the screen. I think the biggest change here is that I got rid of a lot of my lifestyle-related ones, like my fitness pal, just because I didn't really feel like I was getting enough use out of them to justify the costs and they were definitely kind of adding up. So in order to be actually fully accurate, I'm going to calculate out the daily cost of all of my annual or monthly expenses and then add that back into the $687.25 that I calculated earlier. And the full grand total is $1,279.45. And that's it for this video. If you guys guess along, let me know how close or how far you're off, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.